All right, for those looking to upgrade their uh, 512 gigabyte SSD and their Razor Blade Advanced, um, here's a little quick video I'll show you how to do it. First of all, I went ahead and purchased the uh, Inland two terabyte um, NVMe M.2 SSD drive off Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. Good thing about this is that it's a single sided SSD, so all the uh, Go ahead and show you that right now. As a matter of fact, all the uh, like the Fizon processor and all the chips are on one side, so it'll work fine with the uh, Mercury White or any Blade Advanced. Okay, I took it out of the box. Like I said, it's all it's single sided. There's your Fizon processor. Um, all the chips are on one side, so as you can see, this other side here. That's just basically a sticker. It should fit fine in the laptop. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the laptop up right now. All right, flipped over and you'll see the screws there. It looks like there's a total of 10. And they're Torx T5. And I'll go ahead and put a uh, link in the, my description below on a real nice tool set that I use. I believe it's a uh, Mesa's bad boy. Go cheer. Comes with everything, all the, all the bits you need. Torx T5 and a nice little uh, tool here. Okay, back's removed. We use the suction tool to remove the back. There's no cables attached to the back case, so you can just pull right off, no issues. Um, all right, here we are. You can see the old SSD in there. And I'm not sure, it's a light on, the version I got, 512 gig. And a nice thing to do is back up all your stuff to a hard drive beforehand, obviously. Um, but you can always, you'll still have this bad boy to use so what I buy is a little external case to put it in and this is a USB-C as well it's real nice type C so I guess I can show you how to do that as well just throw the old one into this and it just works as a 512 gig SSD external drive now the nice thing to do is always stage your screws that you remove in the exact order because sometimes you know screws are bigger than the others but this as far as this um, Razer laptop, they all seem to be the same, but it's making a habit to do that. Because, uh, you know, in the future, you might do another laptop and one screw might be bigger than the other. To remove this, um, looks like there's just a, a standard Phillips size. I believe I used a, that version, that two, Phillips two right there. So let me just go ahead and remove that real fast. Basically, it just pops up once you remove the screw. And then you just wiggle them out a little bit and it should pop right out. There we go. Okay, it's back in the two terabyte SSD. So basically we're just gonna take the old or the case, the back cover and just put it back on. Another nice thing about the uh, this tool is it's magnetized. So you don't lose your screws. All right, we just fired the laptop back up. Um, so first thing you wanna do, and prior to this, um, if you're doing what I'm doing, which is a clean, version of Windows, you're going to create a uh, bootable Windows USB drive, and you'll need a thumb drive for that, and I used a 16 gig gigabyte SanDisk thumb drive for that, and I'll put a, drop a link into the description below. Um, oh yeah, go ahead and hit subscribe while you're down there, if you're looking at that, appreciate that if you do that. Um, so you go to this website, and I'll put that link down there as well, Just you can also Google that. And it walks you through on how to create a uh, bootable um, USB drive so you can restore Windows clean version. It's pretty simple. All right, now since we um, fired the laptop back up, you're gonna wanna hit F12. Um, once you see the screen pop up for it, it'll it's pretty quick, so you gotta hit F12 pretty fast. So, but once you do, you get into the BIOS. One thing you can check if you go to advanced, you go down to your NVMe configuration, you can see the upgraded drive there, which is the two terabyte SSD, 2048 gigabytes. All right, and then you wanna go over to boot and change your boot option. Right now I changed it to the SanDisk Cruiser partition. All right, now that the uh, thumb drive's there, the bootable thumb drive with Windows on it, you basically reboot and it should pop up to restore Windows. Let's give it a minute here. There it goes spinning. And there we go. 
you don't want me to install windows now. And while Windows while Windows is installing here, go ahead and get that um, old drive, the old 512 gigabyte that was in there. And we get it into this uh, SSD enclosure by SSK. It's real nice. It came with two cables, USB-C, USB-C, and also an HDMI or a uh, regular USB. So it also came with the uh, nice tool set, like tools and screws to do this. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, basically you just open this piece up here, slide it out, and here you got the uh, place to insert the module there. So you just basically take it, just like you're ins inserting it into the motherboard. So I'll go ahead and let me do that with two hands, so I'll stop the video for that. And there it is, it's in, and just take the, oh look at that. Windows rebooted, and it's getting ready, so installation's going pretty well. Come back here, basically take the supplied screw, one of these screws probably. Yeah, let's figure this out. Actually, you have to do is take this copper washer here that it comes with, and slide it in between the SSD to make an angle on that. Like that, and you press down, and you want to push down a little bit, and then insert the screw from the other side, and it should attach. Okay, so what you do, you see how that washer is attached there? You'll, this should be a little bit ugly to see the flex. But then you attach one of these round guys here to the back of it, just like the instructions that came with the set. Next, you want to go ahead and attach the uh, conductive pad that it comes with to the top of the SSD there, just like the instructions. All right, the pad's attached, and now we're just basically going to slide it back into the uh, aluminum body and, re and attach one of these screws to finalize it. And yep. There you have it, you just attach that one screw, and you have a USB-C, Type-C, 512 gig SSD in this little enclosure, it's pretty sweet. Um, once I get Windows set up, and we're now at the point where I have to sign up for my account, we'll try the drive out. Alright, Windows just booted up for the first time, and uh, just want to give you a, a warning that this let it sit for like 10 minutes, it's doing all kinds of updates and stuff in the background. Even though it says, please restart, just let it sit for five to 10 minutes. It's still doing all kinds of stuff for me here, as you can see. Um, yeah, just let it sit, 10 minutes, go have a coffee, voila. And uh, come back 10 minutes later and then do a, I would just do a reboot and then go in and start and start updating your drivers like GeForce Experience and we'll do that next. Alright, okay, I just restarted my PC. Let's go ahead and do a couple things here first. Let's just go ahead and settings. And check out the system. You can see the storage, shell 1.86 free. Um, one thing you can do is go about, you can change your PC name. Mine says desktop. I'll change that to like laptop razor or something. All right, the next thing you want to do is go into Windows Update, and there's going to be a bunch of updates in here. And while the updates are going, you can actually go ahead and try out your new uh, new old SSD 512 gig that you removed from the laptop. So basically, this is a USB Type-C, so you're going to plug it into the right side here. Let's see. That's my old drive. And then basically, finally, the uh, last thing you should do is definitely get GeForce uh, Experience, download that, then uh, update the drivers. Another thing that I, that I recommend is just get your antivirus up and running. I use, uh, let's see, Best Apps. Let's go here and get Avast. Is there Avast free antivirus? I just use that, it works great. All right, man, that's about all. Um, like the video, subscribe. And uh, definitely recommend the Inland 2 terabytes. one of them like a champ so far. Easy to, to uh, remove the old one, slap in the new one. Um, yeah, that is all.